I don't think he, he feels the pressure from previous results or hasn't done so far, you know, and we've done Worlds and, and Pre-Olympics and things like that. I mean, of course he feels pressure and the pressure he feels is, you know, the, 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 the event itself. Um, and I think that the nice thing about the Olympics in that regard is it's such a different event, it's such a standalone event that it almost, you, you, that you don't really think about what you've done before it because you know, it's a sort of place that has quite a few upsets and, and, um, and different results than people would necessarily think on the form card. So um, yeah, I think it, you sort of go into it reasonably fresh, I think. I will be a lot more nervous than he will, a lot more. Um, yeah, I'll probably be chewing on the steering wheel, um, which I have most of the time actually when I watch, <laughs> when I watch the, uh, the racing. Um, what will be going through my head, hopefully it will be uh, he's at the right end, uh, looks like he's going the right way and, um, and everything's going well. One of the most physical and athletic classes uh, and it's, um, it's a bit of a brutal boat yeah, physically. It's also uh, one of the classes where we can play around a little bit with our materials with sails, masts, um, rudders, centre boards, boats, so people will be sailing very, very slightly different kit out there within um, minimum max tolerances or measurements, so there's a whole other side to the class where you're trying to gain speed, not just through technique, but through developing your equipment. The Olympic Games are a different vibe, but, um, you know, the, the, as a great friend of mine said once, the, um, the water, the tide, the wind, the waves, they don't know it's the Games. I'm sure once it starts racing, it'll just be like any other regatta team.